Potala Palace of Tibet from Wonder Diaries Potala is the transliteration of Sanskrit word Potalaka which means Buddhist holy land. Potala Palace, immense religious and administrative complex in Lhasa, southern Tibet Autonomous Region, and southwestern China was built in the 7th century and the palace was once deserted for more than 800 years. Potala Palace in Lhasa, Tibet has the honor of being the highest ancient palace in the world, with its highest point reaching 3,750 meters or 12,300 feet above sea level, towering 100 meters or 300 feet above the city of Lhasa. The palace was rebuilt as the center of Tibetan government by the 5th Dalai Lama in 1645. The Potala Palace has stood for centuries as a testament to the Tibetan people and their beliefs. Thousands of pilgrims from around the world come every year to pay homage to this grand estate and the symbol it stands for. Considered to be one of the wonders of the world for its physical structure and its importance in Tibetan history, the Potala Palace is admired by all who visit. The 13 stories high palace has over 1,000 rooms and covers over 13 hectares or 32 acres of land. The Potala's walls are up to 5 meters thick. The stone walls measure 3 meters or 10 feet thick on average. The general structure of the Potala Palace is in two parts, the Red Palace and the White Palace. The beautiful murals inside the palace are not only attractive, but also tell the story of Tibet. Red Palace is the summer residence of the Dalai Lama, and the White Palace is the winter estate of this saint of Buddhism. When you wander around Lhasa City's buildings, you will find that nothing, no new apartment block, branded hotel, ancient old house, temple, or monastery, is higher than the top of the Potala Palace. This is as a mark of respect for the holy site. The Red Palace is the higher of the two palaces and is made up of several chapels. Used as a house of prayer by the Dalai Lama, this part of the Potala Palace was dedicated to the study of Buddhism and the advancement of the religion. The Red Palace, which is the central member of Potala, contains the principal halls and chapels and shrines of past Dalai Lamas, called as stupas. Each mausoleum or stupa is built with stateliness and honor in mind is overlaid with gold, diamonds, pearls, and many other precious gems, and expresses the high honor the people had for this Buddhist saint. The stupa houses the mummified and perfumed body of the Dalai Lama and a large number of cultural relics, among which a thumb of Sakyamuni, the supreme Buddha and founder of Buddhism, is the most precious. There are eight holy stupas in the Potala Palace with bodies of the 5th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th Dalai Lamas. The stupa of the 5th Dalai Lama is the first, largest, and most magnificent among the eight stupas in Potala Palace. Built in 1690, the stupa is made of sandalwood, coated in gold foil and decorated with some 20,000 jewels and diamonds. At a height of almost 15 meters or 49 feet, the stupa is decorated with 3,721 kilograms of gold, the most used among the eight stupas. The White Palace was home to ten successive Dalai Lamas and their courts. Also located there are the offices of the Tibetan government, governmental assembly halls, and other official offices. 
The original White Palace was built as a present from King Songsan Gampo to his bride-to-be in AD 637 but destroyed during the 9th century. The 5th Dalai Lama built the current one on its site, and therefore, this structure pays homage to him in greater measure than previous Dalai Lamas or those that would follow. Housed within this amazing stone and wood structure are articles and artifacts from Tibetan history, religion, and culture. Statues of Buddha, around 698 murals, religious treasures, and antiques that are centuries old, and incredible works of art graze every area of this mountaintop palace. One area of importance is the wall frescoes that depict the life and works of the 5th Dalai Lama. Other precious works of art include ornate statues, sculptures, and Tibetan paintings. More than 200,000 statues and 10,000 altars are located within the sacred complex. The elaborate works of art and murals tell many stories of the Dalai Lamas and the history of the Tibetan people, and depict different customs and traditions held dear in this beautiful part of the world. The Golden Roof is a unique view of the Potala Palace. It's on the top of the Red Palace, composed of seven roofs made of gilded bronze. They are the tops of the holy stupas of the Dalai Lamas. Every golden roof is decorated with one to five flower and bell-shaped spires, which serve as lightning conductors. If you step out on the palace roof, you can see the blue sky and white cloud above your head and overlook the city. Visiting the Potala Palace requires avoiding the taboos of Tibetan Buddhism. Don't wear revealing clothes, hats, or caps, sunglasses, or masks when visiting the site. Modest clothing is encouraged. Photography, video equipment, and other recording devices are not allowed in the palace. Flammable items such as alcohol, sprays, lighters, Cigarettes or sharp items such as scissors and even nail clippers are not allowed in the palace. Like at an airport, you can't bring any liquid, including drinking water, inside the palace. Only 2,300 Potala Palace visitors are allowed per day. The Potala was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. The Dalai Lama is the incarnated god for Tibetan people. 14th, the last Dalai Lama of Tibet had to flee from Tibet in 1959 as China invaded the country, and he found the asylum in India, a neighbor country and friend of Tibet. From that moment, the Tibetan government functions from Indian territory keeping the Potala Palace without Lama, posing as museum or monastery. The Chinese incursions and actions in Tibet have made the local people so unsettled by the fact that their own Lama, their only ruler god is not residing with them. People want to see their land freed from China and Lama returning back to Lhasa in the Potala Palace to provide holy governance and welfare. The Potala Palace awaits its supreme governor, the incarnated god Lama, who could protect Tibet, its culture, and its values for infinite years to come. Thank for watching guys and see you in the next video.